All right, good luck, have fun. Good luck, they're all getting in there. Get your predictions in because this is it. The winner's final between Sidnev and Rhubarb. They've got it set up, double kill screen on 29. Pal does faster piece drops. Gunter, take this one, will ya? Let's go in three, two, one, Tetris. And they're all sitting up that signature one push down point. Rupar really not uh, incredibly challenged this tournament. Sidnev had a bit of a scare against Mark in game one. But now they're both in the driver's seat in control of mm -hmm. their destiny. Rupar sets up this bar dependency so high up early in the game. Oh, okay, gets it. Oh, okay. It's a J, gets the J. Should be fine. Interesting burn. Sidnev at 69k. Hey now, already with three Tetrises. Rhubarb with no Tetris so far. There we go. Gets one. Yeah, so both these players, it's, it's going to shift a little bit. We've seen what they're capable of on 19, and that's certainly going to play a factor here. Uh, the sort of uh, strategies that come over where you just need to survive on 18, get to those higher scoring levels, uh, really put on the pressure there. Yeah, and see if we're going to have a Ooh, double Sidnev. 29. Ooh. Sidnev would love a square right now. Now with J. One miss. Neither of them. Here we go. Touches for Sidnev. Take some pressure off. But one finger not hitting the the finesse on the controller there oh. could expel Doom. And there's one. Okay. It does have one burn. And it's going to get that just barely. That last second tap. But now Rhubarb's right. in trouble. Oh, Rhubarb, oh my Rhubarb god. Rhubarb tries to set up in case the bar comes. Rhubarb, gotta hang the bar. Oh no, cannot get it to the right. And tops out, early top out for Rhubarb. Sidnev's gonna take game number one. Game number two between Sidnev and Rhubarb. Here we go in three, two, one, Tetris. Rhubarb looking to rebound from that early top out. Hmm. And then we get that signature one push down point and Rhubarb gets a Tetris much earlier this game. I think that certainly a rough start had an impact on Rhubarb. Ooh, but that column nine, you don't want to put that square on column nine. It's already pretty high. Sidnev, nice burn with the T. Sounds like Rhubarb. Uh, yeah. That's People. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's hard to tell for sure, but it's something, uh, maybe Rhubarb feeling the pressure from Sidnev knows how efficient she can be. We're trying to maximize the points here on 18 and getting into some trouble. Uh, see what the response will be. Meanwhile, Sidnev's just clean and <laughs> there goes that efficiency. 116 for Sidnev through 23 lines. 64,000 for Rhubarb the same. Nice T-spin. Rhubarb's back and clean. Ooh, Sidnev, that is... Oh, okay, nice tuck. She's actually gonna be fine. Might go for a dirty. No, it's only gonna be a triple. 147, Rhubarb at 110. <laughs> True. <laughs> 40k... 40k difference here. <laughs> hey, welcome in, look at them. Lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Rhubarb, Rhubarb, very aggressive play again. Alright, has to put a lot of weight on the right side. This is survival. What? Oh, didn't put the T all the way over. Interesting, uh, needs an O. 
Okay. All right. Opens Whoa. up the well. Love a bar here. Oh, no. I think oh. we're so ready for that bar. Started putting those uh, rolls in uh, yeah, early good. and then misshift on the S, but uh, it does survive. Got back to back Tetris is still, but now has a bit of cleanup to do at 195. Sydney 251. Sydney have had a little bit of cleanup, but got, got it so quick, I couldn't even say it. Yeah. So efficient. Yes, Nev with some unfortunate pieces. Who tried to go? No, maybe not. I, I thought she tried to go for a line spin. Okay, and Rhubarb, I think, uh, just gonna burn this all the way down. Regroup, reset. 230 for Rhubarb, 281. So it's not the end of the world. Down 30k, but is, uh, was ahead in lines. So it's now a 70k lead after that touch is from Sidnev. Yeah, and Sidnev having to burn as well. Missed drop from Rhubarb, has to clean it up. Okay. Oh, this didn't reopen. I thought the L would reopen, but no. Okay, Tetris for Rhubarb, 258. Sidnev, 330, but not with a good board right now. This is Rhubarb's opportunity here as we approach 100 lines. Triple yeah, for Sidnev. Was, was it a triple? Yeah, perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. She's... Almost 100k ahead. Rhubarb getting a Tetris. And both players. Transition. Both players clean now. 363 for Sidnev, 309 for Rhubarb. Alright, both players clean for Unz. It was quite a dirty 18. For sure. Cool. Lots of. Yeah, lots of digs all yeah. around. <laughs> we both players know what the other is capable of from all the NTSC matchups. Uh, True. And so I think they're really trying to maximize that efficiency and know again that as long as they don't top out on 18, they got a pretty good chance of taking this one. Rebarb's cut the lead in half, transitions 426. Sinev, still a few lines to go to transition. Rebarb sets up right away. Touches for Rhubarb to get a 451. Sidnev can still get one last Tetris. Could another touch for Rhubarb takes 475. And another one to take the score lead, 500k. Sidnev's gonna transition 506, takes it right back with that Tetris. Base, yeah, base lead for sure for Sidnev, who is now 10 lines behind. Right, and if it looks like it's moving faster for you out there, it is. This is PAL, baby. That means that this is the fastest speed. So we added a double kill screen at level 29. Both these players very well capable of hitting it. Rhubarb now getting into trouble. Gets oh. the Tetris. Okay. Gonna help out. 582, 5, no, 615 for Sidnev after that Tetris. Sidnev taking the lead and still behind in lines. Rhubarb is gonna survive. Nice bar for both. Both players digging down right now. They're both on level 22. Rhubarb goes into level 23. 594 for Rhubarb. Sidnev sets up, gets the touches to go to 650. Now Rhubarb oh, stack yeah. all over the place. Yeah, Rhubarb missed um, a touch. Sidnev digging down. Do. Only has one frame to tuck a piece on 19. That's right, but Rhubarb, Rhubarb is content to burn down. Sidnev sets up for another Tetris. It gets it to go to 688, so back to an 80k lead there. Rhubarb, a couple minas away from being touched ready when the bar comes. That's just tough to see. Sinev set up for it again. God, this is a great 19 battle right now. Touches for Sinev to go to 725. Rhubarb gonna miss drop. That, oh. oh my gosh, that S piece doesn't get all the way over to column two. And then another piece no, doesn't get to column two. Rhubarb oh in trouble. My God. Kick flat burn. Oh my god, rhubarb! Rhubarb, what? What? That's oh my god, oh, the no. misdrop! 
Are you kidding Same. me? Rubai can Go. still go! Still go! Open the back up! Needs to get something out of the column one! Gets a square, square! It's gonna be Captain oh, the no. L! A fat it's L fun. drop! Oh my goodness! By Rhubarb into column two and three, and that's gonna seal it! Incredible game two from both these players! Sidnev gets the heart! GG's! The smile Rhubarb knew! Never gave up! Let's go in three, two, one, Tetris. So Nev, one game away from punching her ticket to relaxation, not playing again until the grand finals. Both these players in the prize pool already by reaching it this far. The worst place Rhubarb can finish is third. We'll be guaranteed getting a slot of that prize pool. If you're watching this, you can contribute. Go to matrino.com slash tournament slash 99833. Bingo, 99833. Contribute. Link is in chat. And in the video description of this is on YouTube. No coupons, unfortunately, but we have a few sponsor quests. <laughs> I'm putting Smooth in contact with uh, <laughs> Matrino. Really? <laughs> right now, Smooth Motion they... will handle it for us. Can they add coupons in the middle of uh, of a Macherino? Like... Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. They can have, add. You have them to anytime. launch. You have to launch it first, and once it's launched, they add it anytime. So. Okay, I see. Yeah. It would be nice to have some. <laughs> I hope. Uh, I hope Macherino is doing okay to put out the coupon codes. You know, they're not that crazy. You know. <laughs> Hope, hope our friends over there are doing it. I'm sure they are. It's probably just a clerical error. Uh, just right. like Sidnev with a bit of a clerical error trying to dig out of this. 141 for Sidnev. Rhubarb with the advantage in 18. Don't, haven't said that much. Good just... Tetris for Sidnev. Now, oh, pretty much tied. Sidnev ahead by like 200 points. Uh, a few hundred points, I mean. Mm -hmm. the player encountering the same drought right now. Rhubarb was dirty, uh, had a dirty Ooh. board. Oh my yeah. goodness, this drop for Rhubarb. Oh. Sidnev's in oh trouble too. Okay, Sidnev, oh my gosh. What wow, drop? Sidnev needs something for the left, gets the J left. What is this drought? Oh man. Sidnev opens, opens up the right, right side. No bar! Oh. Sidnev in trouble in the square hang. Rhubarb can't get anything over to column oh, one! No. Rhubarb has to get something over. No, no Rhubarb is good! Oh my no. god! Oh, my eyes! It <laughs> oh! Uh, and that seed, right? Send that what back to Curry that? Java. Complain the Touch of Gem hotline. I'll give you the number. Call him. <laughs> According <laughs> Call that seed, report a, report a nasty seed there. Terrible drought, did both players. Game number four here in three, two, one, Tetris. So how about that, uh, Gunter? After no, uh, spoiler alerts for people, go back and watch the VODs, no. <laughs> Uh, no early top outs really on 18 in the semi-finals. We get two of them here in the finals. That's just how it works, right? Uh, yeah. Wide, wide was the um, was the only one who had it. Kind of, it was 115. Yeah, not, 115. Not, yeah, not super but, early, right? Yeah, two. Anything above 100 lines is not early, but it's just my uh, uh, assessment of what's an early top out. It's pretty That's right. subjective. I think you're trying to maximize efficiency at that point. You know, it's a little, a little unfair to say. Uh, yeah, people they, uh, have. Oh have my goodness, become, rhubarb! Wow, people have become so good at this game that now on NTSC, uh, topping out before level 25 is another top out. Yeah, really though. Mm. Uh, and it's it's something funny though. Uh, you can look at the match statistics. The number of 18 top outs has stayed relatively consistent over the years. Uh, it's just a misdrop, right? Probably doing it in more than anything else, right? If you say it's yeah, it really consistent. proves that uh, mm -hmm. 18 is just too slow for the fast uh, tappy teams. That's right, the tappy teams. Uh, yeah, I think that once uh, it's it's somewhat. Oh, music stop. Let's go again. Here we go. Here we go. Jump back. 
I think that uh, that it really just shows you that, uh, that the stacking has been there since the tappy days, right? Uh, True. Yeah. Unless a miss drop or something, it's really mm -hmm. not. Uh, you rarely see the sort of forced errors where stacking is just so terrible that they top out. Yeah. Right. Okay. Somali and paging the scientists for some proof on that. We'll get some data scientists <laughs> in here. Zidnev setting up very. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gets the triple and goes very aggressive with that J. That's right. She has been saying here in row three, two rows off the bottom, gets a tattoo up to go to 182, rhubarb 201. Zidnev taking the lead with that Tetris. Rhubarb waiting oh, for Oh, missed the line spin. Missed the line spin. Oh. Still needs a J. Not gonna wait for it. Who arrives, but way too late. Yeah, it doesn't feel no that a S. Meanwhile, Sinna's board is cleaner, even though she's rocking this uh, dirty Tetris. Tetris for Sinna to go to 234. Sinna, uh, C Tech champion, the PAL version, the Tetris championship. Yep. Back to back. Mm hmm. Going, uh, I hope goes for the three peat this year, you know? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if she can make it to Copenhagen. The, the problem with C Tech is that you have no price pool. So yeah. if, you, uh, if you don't have much money, <laughs> uh, you gotta pay uh, for C Tech, and you know that even if you win it, you're not gonna have any price pool. It's just glory. It be, it's just for exactly. the. Right, right. So you have to be able to afford to do the glory, right? Yeah. Tetris mm -hmm. for Rhubarb, we go to 287. Sidnev still in the lead, 315. Uh, let's see if Rhubarb tries to clean this up here. Sidnev, not a huge fan of left wells, so I think it's going to try to burn this out. But even if, he, if she doesn't make it to C-Tech, I hope we'll be able to see both of these players at uh, CTWC. Absolutely. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wide is correct. <laughs> That's a deep cut. Mm -hmm. That is a deep cut. Right. <laughs> uh, that was back in the CTM Mimi days, right before it was like, oh, we're now it's uh... That, oh, that was man. before Alexei Pajanov declared. Oh, wait, it was right after, I guess, Alexei Pajanov declared Tetris as a real eSport, right? Right. It would have been 2019. <laughs> Uh, 368 for Rhubarb, who's got a clean stack, and Sidna have been rocking that left well. Really just unable to get many points out of it, though, and Rhubarb's going to take a two-touches lead. Yeah, you just can't escape capitalism, Wade. <laughs> money, had, money had to get in at some point. That's right. Touches for Rhubarb, and Rhubarb's going to stick with this left well. Okay, Sinev is finally back to the right. Rhubarb, who not happy about that Z, might go for an Adam Well, column 3. But not, not getting pieces. the pieces. Yeah, Sidnev is very clean here, and we're heading towards transition. Sidnev just needs to win this game to secure her ticket into the grand finals. Sidnev transitions 417. Four. Dirty touches for Rhubarb to transition 448 and another touches to take the lead 473. Sidnev nice. gets that split double. And Rhubarb is clean as well. Ooh. Okay, Sidnev's down at the bottom clean. Will she stack up here? She will. Sets up for the touches, gets it to go to 456. Rhubarb touches is slightly dirty on level 19 to go to 504. Now it's. Oh, Sidnev hang! Oh, no! Take the hang again! That left side! That's gonna be it! And Rhubarb, just like that, has forced a decider, a game five decider coming from Rhubarb. Uh, now we were talking about early top out. I know Sidna's feeling that right now. That uh, she had so much more she could have done on 19 and just fell victim to the fabled five taps. Rhubarb forcing uh, a potential reverse sweep here, getting to game number five. Three, four, seven, D, four, five is what both players have in here. <laughs> They're both ready. Let's count them down. Game number five, Gunter, the honors is all yours. Let's go, decider in five, four, three, two, one, Tetris.
Sidnev one game away from clinching it. Rhubarb's life in the winner's bracket was a 3,000 point. Oh my gosh, and K9 watching touches with a $50 contribution to the prize. Nice. Taking us up to $203 flat. Thank you so very much. Pretty insane. Thank you, Doug. And there it is. I mean... <laughs> Dog K9, yeah, not the uh, K9 dog. Yep, not the same dog, but not the other dog. <laughs> to be clear, but uh, thank you so very much. And yes, Rhubarb with that 3,000 point victory. Both players popped out at 50 lines. Yeah, he's he's our dog. So if you would like to contribute to the prize bowl, you don't have to be a dog to do it. Matrina link in the chat. Help support these players. It's all community funded. Anything you have. Would be appreciated. Score okay, update. It could, oh. yeah, it could be any canine. It could be a bear. It could be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly uh, the list of canines. <laughs> oh, like a wolf or something, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, right? <laughs> or uh, Doge, right? That's also a canine. <laughs> Doge, right? <laughs> 126 so for Sydney, 146 for Rhubarb early days. players at 39 lines and Rhubarb is Tetris ahead. Tetris for Sidnev now. Ooh, oh no, the delayed burn by Rhubarb. It's gonna be fine with that L. Nice adjustment. Still with the T hole. Tetris for Rhubarb. We got 199. Pretty close game here. Sidnev's board though, now in a state yeah, of what happened? Had a T skin set up for a second. Sidnev just got to breathe. I know the momentum is with Rhubarb right now, but we've seen what Sidnev is capable of. Rhubarb actually on the verge of uh, reverse sweeping Sidnev, if I'm correct. That's right, it would be a reverse sweep. And Sidnev, the only person to get a max out in qualifiers, but it wasn't even a max out, it was a 1.1, right. so we know what she's capable of. Damn, pretty impressive. Especially pre-29 on, on PAL. Yeah, absolutely. Sidnev might go left well. Oh, she doesn't want to. Oh, wait. Okay, it's just a triple. Oh, oh one piece away. Mm. Almost had cake and eaten it too. Touches for Rhubarb to go to 320. So a 50,000 point lady. Oh, a missed drop from Sidnev, surely. At 274, so falling a bit behind now. He makes the adjustment for the long bar. Oh, oh Rhubarb! Oh my gosh! And then couldn't That's respond! Rhubarb's in trouble! Oh, oh no! no. Rhubarb's gonna Stop be done! 343! So the target is 344 for Sidnav. Oh, at a very unfortunate time to double flip. He was listening too much to that Game Boy player flipping the long uh, bar. Oh yeah, dancing long bar. That's, That's right. pretty unfortunate to step out like that. Tetris for Sidnev, and you can't say it's a coaster. Rubar is gonna go offline. DMV will fix it in post. We're looking for 344. <laughs> and uh, that triple will do it. And there it is. Sidnev will be getting the third heart and taking this what decider responds in the way that you're supposed to with a heart. All you need to do in the decider. Uh, that'll do it. Rubar, thanks so much for playing today as well as Wide and Mark Migas. You guys got more matches to play though. Today, the victor is Sidnev. Winner of the trophies and awards there. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.